Hello, Monet family. Welcome to our reunion. We hope you are doing well. Actually, we hope you're doing great. I mean, under these strange circumstances, I feel we have so much still to be grateful for. Our customers were still uh, are, are, are this, have a high desire for our products, and we're praying for you. As you've seen, we're expressing our gratitude to our customers by including a free hand sanitizer in every single order for 15 days. So that includes supporting our customers, also our market partners, but also we are supporting uh, many of our gratitude uh, ambassadors, uh, many of our gratitude partners, and we are even supporting the state government here in Florida. Natural hand sanitizer, and we are showing and sharing our gratitude towards the people of the world. Like, what better company to work for? Madison Harnish back in my blue kitchen for another crazy video. Today I had to talk about the beloved MLM company Monat, Monate, Monet. I've heard people pronounce it a ton of different ways. Today I'm going to talk about Monat and how they are currently handling this pandemic. So if you enjoy deep dives into anti-MLM content and unethical business practices, definitely subscribe down below and give this video a thumbs up. And well, let's get into the video. So if you don't know what Monat is, Monate, I'm probably going to pronounce it like 12 different times throughout this video. Sorry about that. Monate is an infamous MLM company most known for the lawsuits filed against it for the hair loss that its hair products caused. But what does Monet have to say about themselves? Well, let's go on to their lovely website and read it. Doo, doo, doo. The length of this page. Meet the Erdeneta family. It's probably as hard to pronounce as Monate. In October 2014, we officially opened our doors for business. In a short time, we have accomplished incredible things. Thanks to the dedication of our market partners, the enthusiastic support of our VIP customers, and one-of-a-kind home office staff. Monat, Monet, whatever, starts with changing your hair and eventually changing your life. Yeah, it starts with changing your hair by making it fall out. So... If you want to just like start fresh, just, you know, scrap what you have going on right now. Just start with a clean slate. Monat might be your deal and eventually changes your life by emptying your wallets, leaving you with nothing but damaged hair and broken dreams. Then if you go to culture, you scroll down a little bit and it says culture. We care about more than your hair. I would argue you don't care about hair at all considering you cause it to fall out, but okay. We pride ourselves on the naturally based products we create. Naturally based. Roll ingredient lists. No, 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 no. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, our true pride is in the lives we change through our incredible opportunity because changing lives is seriously fun business. If you have fun by causing people to lose money, there are some serious issues with you and your um, mentality. <laughs> So a lot of us have been really curious about how MLM companies are handling this pandemic. A lot of them have been encouraging their sales reps to continue selling their product and pushing out their product. And it's a little bit disheartening when a lot of people are out of jobs, struggling with money, just kind of overall not in a position to start a new business. I mean, I think that there's a study that most Monate purchases are about $85. $85 on hair stuff right now, I think for a lot of people is just stupid. So what does the company say about the pandemic that's currently going wild. Let's see what they have to say. We understand we're all navigating through a lot of uncertainty right now. The fact that you understand that a lot of people feel uncertain about their future, their career, their financial stability, 
and you're still encouraging people to reach out to those same people. Now is the time to be a light and share positivity. Some of you have extra time on your very clean hands, okay? Tap through for a few recommendations on what you can do to stay busy and productive while you're at home. Let's see what the lovely and caring company Monate has to say about what we can do to stay busy and productive while at home because, you know, they're, they're just giving us tips and advice. Read a book, disconnect from the world, and enjoy a good book. Awesome. I love a good book. I think we all do. Rejuvenate scalp oil treatment. I mean, that's not really an activity to keep me busy and productive. It's just a product that you guys sell. Okay, what's the next one? Let's see. Do, do a face mask. I like face masks. They want you to use a Monate face mask. Okay, um, what's the next one? Let's see. Enjoy some snacks, nice. Yeah, I, I too like to snack. I am a human who eats also. Remember to snack wisely. It's easy to get off track at home, but up your fruits and veggies to boost your immune system. Love that word, boost that your immune system. You guys know that's my favorite word. I also just love the subtle jab. It's like, it's easy to get off track at home. Like, okay, so, so far Monet has told us to read a book because we're stupid, use two of their products because we're ugly, and eat healthy snacks so that we don't get off track because apparently we're fat and ugly. The majority of those tips were their own products. Gotta love that wholesome, unbiased advice from Monet. Then recently it came out that Monate will be donating 240,000 bottles of hand sanitizer for their charity. And I just had to talk about that because looking into the numbers, it's not as charitable as they make it seem. Amid the shortages of medical supplies and disinfectants due to COVID-19, one South Florida-based company is doing what it can to give back. Today, Monet, a company known for its hair products, is shifting gears and will now be manufacturing hand sanitizer at their Miami-Dade production facilities. So I'm gonna read all of Monet's posts from their Facebook about this charity. Let's see what they have to say. We're pivoting to produce hand sanitizer gel for 15 days, beginning at 12 p.m. ET on Tuesday, April 7th. We will include a complimentary two ounce bottle of Monet hand sanitizer gel in every order placed. In addition, our Monat Gratitude team is donating 40,000 two ounce bottles of Monet hand sanitizer gel to children's services organizations, homeless shelters, and community centers on the front lines. So the majority of their charity is giving away a two ounce, which you guys know, two ounces like this big bottle of hand sanitizer with every purchase. That's the majority of it. Just think about that with a purchase for two weeks. Just think about that. Second post. We're grateful for our customers and the opportunity to give back. Producing hand sanitizer gel just felt right. Each order placed for the next two weeks will receive one free two ounce hand sanitizer. We're also donating 40,000 to communities in need. To our customers, thank you. In case you didn't realize it, with every purchase of our award-winning hair care and skincare products, you're helping to change the lives of our amazing market partners. The thing that bugged me the most about this entire thing is a lot of the news coverage, the press articles, and the MLM distributors are talking about the hand sanitizers as if it's this giant charity that the company's doing, when in reality, it's like a giveaway. It's like a two-week giveaway on all orders of Monat with a small, tiny amount given away to different organizations as well. It's not really a giant charity, and it pales in comparison to the charities that other companies are doing right now. Okay, so you get it. <laughs> They're selling the hair products they always sell, which are very overpriced, by the way, and then giving you a tiny two ounce hand sanitizer to go along with it. So what do the distributors have to say about this? And we are showing and sharing our gratitude towards the people of the world 
Like, what better company to work for? I really do. So, to all my current VIP customers, if you natural hand sanitizer, are in need of a hand sanitizer um, that's naturally based, it's not gonna dry out your hands, no alcohols in it, um, you just have to go in and order. Just place an order and you'll get it for free. How amazing, right? So off of that, I wanted to mention one of my favorite anti-MLM Instagram accounts. It's anti-shampoo dealer. Definitely check them out, guys. The owner of this account is amazing. I love them. And they post some really informational stuff, a lot of stuff on the ingredients behind Monate, the business structure, just everything if you really want to learn all about this company. They, they had a lovely comment to what this distributor had to say. They said, Monate is donating 40,000 Monate branded hand sanitizers and giving away 200,000 of them to anyone that places an order for the next 15 days. And really they're not donating anything to anyone because those 200,000 overpriced orders are paying for those 40,000 donated sanitizers. Just another MLM taking advantage of this global pandemic to make a buck. Oh, and don't forget Miss Mandy Sue with her lies once again, alcohol free and naturally based. Check those ingredients again literally like the first ingredient is alcohol so it's 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 not natural <laughs> nice mo marketing ploy monet you should be ashamed and taking and donating all of those two hundred and forty thousand sanitizers to the essential workers homeless people in need and hospitals here's another post by anti-shampoo dealer 240,000 bottles made in two weeks that we will make zero dollars on. And anti-shampoo dealer says, an average price on a VIP order is $84. So you mean Monet will be making over 16 million on those free hand sanitizers? Yes, they're only donating 40,000. This company and the reps are nothing but disgusting, praying, pathetic humans for the way they've taken advantage of so many scared people during this global pandemic. They really hit exactly why this charity is such a scam. The only thing that this charity is doing is encouraging product sales for the Monate company. It's genius, but like evil genius if you think about it. It's at a time when I'm sure they've seen their sales decline because of the coronavirus. So they decide to come out with this good press and this charity, but the majority of the charity is all about customers purchasing more products for these donated hand sanitizers. So all it's doing is boosting their sales at a time right now when it's just, it's not about company sales. Since press is a free form of advertising, it made me wonder, the only real thing that they're spending real money on is the 40,000 pan sanitizer. And I had to wonder, is that less expensive to produce and give away than if they were to do a big advertising campaign right now? Because most companies, when they do an advertising campaign, and it's a big one and they're a larger company, they spend at least $20,000 on that advertising campaign. Because they garnish a lot of free press and a lot of their distributors talking about their company with this whole charity going on, I have to wonder if the f cost of producing 40,000 bottles of hand sanitizer is less than $20,000, which is how much companies usually spend on an advertising campaign. They usually spend a lot more, by the way, but that's just like a low baseline number. I ended up doing a lot of research on hand sanitizer. And if you do any research on hand sanitizer right now, you know that the cost of hand sanitizer is rising dramatically. It's becoming more and more difficult to get your hands on hand sanitizer. And I honestly wouldn't be surprised if a lot of people from Monate bought extra hair products just so they could get their hands on some extra hand sanitizer in this time when it's very difficult to find hand sanitizer. Currently, New York has the worst of all states in terms of like their corona cases and the outbreak. So New York Governor Cuomo has organized and rolled out a program where New York, the state itself, will be producing its own hand sanitizer to give out to government agencies and organizations. 
So they released information on this, as well as the cost of producing this hand sanitizer. According to Kumo, it costs $6.10 to produce one gallon of hand sanitizer for New York State. So let's just say that generally applies to most hand sanitizers, since most hand sanitizers main ingredient is alcohol. The Monet hand sanitizer is only two ounces. So if it costs New York $6.10 to produce a gallon, which is equal to 128 fluid ounces, that means it would cost Monet 0 0.095 cents or around 10 cents to produce one of their Monet hand sanitizer bottles, 10 cents. That means, and um, bear with me on this one, I'm gonna keep going on the whole math tangent, but it's gonna have a conclusion. That means that Monate's $40,000 hand sanitizer bottle donation will cost them $3,812.50 to make. That's a big, big difference from the $20,000 ad campaign, $3,000. If you think about the charities that other big companies do, this is just pennies. For example, last year, Monet made $314 million. So this $3,800 donation is literally pennies to them. Now let's take this a little bit further. Remember the free bottles they're giving away with every product purchase? Since an average price of a VIP order is $84, if Monet is giving away free hand sanitizers on 200,000 purchases, that would mean if the average price was $84 that they would be in total making $16.8 million on those 200,000 purchases. The revenue of what they're making from those sales is $16.8 million, where for each order, it only costs them 10 cents more to give away these hand sanitizers. So what's the approximate amount of money lost on this hand sanitizer order giveaway? 20,000. Yeah, so they're making 16.8 million and they're only losing 20,000 of that profit. So from this charity, they're only losing about $23,000 in total, pennies, for a company that made $314 million in total last year. For a company that doesn't even need to pay or compensate its sales force properly, this looks like a ridiculous charity scam, to me at least. This is just one example of a company pretending to be charitable for good press and a marketing ploy. And it's really sad to see so many people falling for this. If a company's charitable acts look sketchy, always look into the numbers. And definitely be wary if a company's donations, charitable donations, are reliant on people purchasing products. Like that's red flag number one here. <laughs> because that isn't really that selfless now, is it? And that's really all I have to say. I wanted to share some of the crazy things that I've been seeing with Monate lately. Uh, there's so much to cover on this hair company. There's a lot of great YouTubers who have done great videos on Monate. I'll include links down below to their videos if you'd like to check those out. They don't know I'm doing it because I'm nobody, but I just thought if you wanna look more into it, you can through their videos. But yeah, I just wanted to talk about this. It's interesting to me, it's weird, it's crazy but um, I'm not surprised and I'm sure you guys aren't either. If you like this video, give a thumbs up and subscribe once again. Gotta say that twice in the video. I don't know why, it's just what most people do. And uh, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and until next time, have a good one.